important match. Oh, yeah. And it's all going to be decided oh, here on oh, oh, Overpass. Oh, oh. Yeah. Overpass. I got a little bit excited there. Sorry about that. So, uh, Na'Vi going to be able to start off on the CT side. Definitely uh, the favoured side on Overpass. We'll have to see what flip side have to bring to the table to compete These lower tier Na'Vi. teams really need to practice their knife rounds. I mean, no underdog team has won a knife round yet. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. They're going for the A-Sight push, which we don't see a lot of on the eco round. Usually they just go straight for the B-Push. So Guardian's going to be in a really nice position to get one frag on Berg. will be shot down by Benji. Quick revenge kill there. Edward coming in the site to try and uh, stop them from pushing in. Beautiful play by Dumas, but Seized will uh, have an exchange as he takes down Benji. Here, Zendi. Oh, right in the face and with that Glock as the bomb will get planted. Zendi and Dumas against Starix. Starix has the armor. He goes straight for Dumas. Makes it a 1v1 twice. He could win this clutch. Goes straight for the defuse. Oh, he's actually... Harris pulls out, does quite a lot of damage on Starix. Starix now pushes right for him. He doesn't have a lot of time. Will he be able to get the defuse? He should be able to. He's got this. Yeah, and fine. they should have. The thing is, they at that kind of situation, they should have just waited, and they should have just played the time game. It was two on one. The bomb was planted. You were against one CT who was coming in from the B site. Play it with the time. Why not? Play the time, yo. Play the time. Somebody needs to buy him a wrist watch. Perhaps he has no concept of time. Been a long cast. Been a long cast. All right. <laughs> Guys, you have to day. laugh at home. You no, have you to don't. laugh. Please don't. Please don't entertain this. Don't en don't enable me. It's very bad. Either way, uh, Flipside Tactics going with the obvious. Uh, no investment really on the follow-up. Just to see Zen a couple Could have been flashes. a great start. It really could have been a great start. It's fine though. Getting the bomb down is, is fine. I mean, they, they can still have a buy off the disc. And they're still going to have an advantage against the Famuses if they keep those alive. So... Um, we're going to see now the push coming in onto the A, a side, if they're able to really uh, accomplish that. Are they going to do it? Uh, are they just r running back around? Are they going to do that? That is, like, three connected to B, really? That is what, awesome. what are they doing? Playing roly-poly? It was so funny, because the smoke went down, they just kind of, like, didn't stop running, and just, like, <laughs> running like, around the side of the oh, map. Oh, nothing to do here. Just roll back over towards Upper Parkway. I love it. This Benji's still here, holding the angle. And perhaps just keeping the pressure on the CTs, but he goes down. Actually, Dumas goes down to Guardians M4, and he's getting picked off one by picked off one by one. Edward, really nice aim by Edward. So they didn't, they didn't I think what they wanted to do is they wanted to try and kind of get the CTs to rotate towards the A site and get the bomb planted on the B site. Fakes do not work on this map. This is a rule. <laughs> the sites are right next to each other. If you fake, they they can probably see you from the site faking from the other site. I mean, it just, <laughs> it doesn't work. 2-0, to well. Na'Vi will get the second round, but a full buy coming up from flip side. I want to see a fast play on B here. I think they, they need to get in quick. They're doing that. They're before definitely the, doing uh, that. Before the, the, the grenades really come into play for Na'Vi. I mean, again, I spoke to not very much in the way of grenades to work with for flip side tactics. They're going to have to try to take, if not going to play it quickly, they're going to have to take a try or try to take a lot of map control. Uh, Sewer is a squeaky area. Connector, make sure they got uh, toilets as well. Just keep the presence felt all over the place. But Na'Vi... Seems like overpass. CTs can play very tight to the site yeah, yeah, and still have fast rotation. So they're definitely. sticking with the safe stuff. You can have four people on B site and just one on A site. Look, look at that. Yeah, I mean, I told you, you can see. You can actually <laughs> see from the A site. Don't worry. But the thing is, that smoke came down on shot. It's actually a bit like, oh, really nice little boost there, but Edward misses the shots. And it's really tough for the servers because they have to look at so many levels, like right in front of him, above him, look up to the sky just in case there's like a drone firing at you. Starrix with a frag on Benji. Quick trade. It will be for the benefit of the terrorists, however. It's four on four. They're, they're going for the boost oh now. Oh, God. he catches! He, see, he sees him! He gets the frag oh. twist! Beautifully done! And I thought the person above him would get the frag, but actually twist sees him. Molotov goes down just in case they try to go for that fast short push, but they do have the man advantage here, flip side, and they're playing it really well. They're getting those picks, and they're taking their time, and so far, it's worked out for them. They have to do something soon, though, because they've only got 25 seconds left on the clock. Zeus so pushing short. Pretty, pretty proactive, but he could open it up for the uh, terrorist side. He gets the information. The T's are actually going towards the A site here. They'll try and get the bomb plant in the next 15 seconds. There is one terrorist moving towards shot. Zeus is going to be ready and waiting to make that frag on Twist. Guardian takes down Dumas. Berg and Zender with a frag each in return. And now it's only Zeus. Bomb will be planted in the last four seconds, and Berg will make the frag on Zeus regardless. Bomb planted. First buy round for Flipside, not looking bad for the Swedes. Uh, definitely not looking bad at all. Um, definitely uh, an interesting round with all the boost shenanigans. 
That fra that one frag was just brilliant. I mean, it's just like a perfect angle. The the amount of spots and boosts that are possible on this map and that are still being discovered kind of blows my mind. And it's going to turn into a platform and not an FPS <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Just, don't put this in, I want to be the bossy soon. <laughs> no! Don't talk to me about that game. <laughs> hey man, I am the bossy. Yeah, you finished it. Good for you. I am That's all I can say. I can put say. that on my CV. You could. And they'll know that you're a, you're clinically insane for playing <laughs> that game. That I, think, I think everybody who knows I'm clinically insane. <laughs> yes. I don't disagree. Full bite from the CT side. Panas on seized, however. No head armor. It doesn't really need it in this kind of situation. As they are playing against AK-47s. Two to one. Flip side. Playing it easy, playing for the picks, waiting for the CTs to push forward. And you can see that Navi don't play the style where they go for that upper park and lower park control towards the A site. They stay quite deep. It's Guardian and Seized. Staric, Zeus, and Edward trying to hold the B site. And Edward's actually been able to push through towards sh from shot towards the, the monster area, the tunnel area. And so Twist has to be really careful here because Edward's right under him. He would not expect. Oh, a nice little spray down by Twist. He actually controls the spray after pre firing and gets the headshot on Zeus. And that's really good. But Edward's there in support to return the frag. And that's really, really smart play by the CTs. You have to be able to trade the, trade the frags when you're in advanced positions. You lose a player, you get a frag back anyway. It's really nice because actually Edward, with that position, is able to see all the way through to long um, or, or monster, whatever you want to call it. And. That enables him to actually know if it's going to be a, a B play, a big B play. Yeah. Edward puts through the smoke anyway. Should have been an easy frag for Dumas, who gets shot down. Zendi will get another on Guardian. Now it's a two on two situation. They're exactly where they can throw down the nade. Beautiful nade by Berg. Bomb will be planted here. And again, it's Starrix in a 2v1 situation. Will he be able to overcome the flip side tactic players this time round, just like he did on the pistol round? Ooh, really nice movement by one of the T's. And the thing is, Starrix does see him, however. Starrix knows he's there. So he can't really have the element of surprise. He just catches sight of Berg. Berg has to hide. Play the time, lads. Oh, then he turns around all the way, goes to the spiral staircase, makes the frag on Starrix regardless. Two to two, flip side equalizes the score. Navi are looking very, very rocky on this CT sided map. Are we in for yet another upset here in Dreamhack Winter? Will Navi go out early in the group stages against flip side tactics? Hey man, it's early days. Come on, it's only two to two. We're just two speculating. Two We're just I don't speculating. Do it. I, I was speculating. I was speculating. I don't like it. It's just speculation. I mean, I don't like it, man. It's three to two now. They're on an eco. Flipside are playing good on overpass. There's no I, doubt I about that. Think, think about things that scare me. Oh, oh, oh! oh. You know, if you did that in matchmaking, you get instantly banned from matchmaking. <laughs> I did that once. <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> oh dear. That's quite a lot of damage on his team. It's not yeah. a great start. And it's against multiple teammates, man. Don't mess with that. Not yeah. earlier on in the round as well. It's worse when yeah. it's early in the round. Oh, nice. Starrix is in a good position to get the return frag. Edward takes down Twist. I think I spoke a bit too soon, but Zendi, regardless, will make the two frags from Starrix and Edward here. Seizes on his own. He gets a frag in return. They probably will win the round, but they have to be really careful here. Seized is not in a position to pick up a weapon. The bomb will be planted by Benji. They know exactly where he is, but three frags already on a full eco by Navi. That's scary to think about. Very, very scary indeed. Dumas with his crosshair. Ready for seize. Easy shot down by Dumas. Flip side tactics make it three to two. And they are able to save two weapons as well, but they have money regardless. And the economy is not that great for winning three rounds in a row. Uh, it's absolutely not. Um, Navi not able to really uh, purchase any, orp uh, any orps or anything like that. We'd really want to see one in Guardian, but. Um, Right now, something Navi haven't been showing us. I mean, they haven't really had many rounds to play with as far as the guns go. But we, we really need to see some aggressive play mixed in by them. We've seen how how great it can be to play offensively. And in fact, we are seeing it. We do have a bit of aggression into connector here from uh, Zeus. He's got a great angle. There's the spray. He does get the first frag. But Berg is able to trade on to Guardian. So it's going well for them. Edward, thankfully, for Navi, is going to pick up an equalizing kill. Though. So it's a bit chaotic at the moment. And it was a, it was a good exchange of frags for the terrorists, but that frag there will uh, give the advantage for the CTs. Edward doesn't have a lot of HP. The bomb is still at T spawn, and it seems like they'll be pushing towards the B site. Edward going for that information. He might be caught off guard, but actually he catches the terrorist off guard, throws down that smoke. He doesn't have a lot of HP. Perfect smoke on that. Oh, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't count not. on the fact there's a see-through fence right next to it. It's not that map knowledge, though. I mean, he, he tried he tried to go for that, you know, just in the air, just creative play, but it kind of backfired. And the way it's still 2-on-2 oh, oh, with the help oh, of Vantage. Oh. 
for Ninja Navi. Star X is coming up from behind. Uh oh, Zendi has no idea. Oh, he turns around, he gets the frag, but sees drops uh, Dumas before the bomb's planted. There's still 30 seconds left on the clock. It's a 1v1 duel here between the two players, Zendi against Seized. And I think Seized has the better angle here. He will make the frag on Zendi. 3-3. Three three. Na'Vi equalizing the score. The economy of flip side doesn't look too good at all. No bomb plant, and they're on one about 3k actually, 1.4k on Twist. It means they have to go for an eco this time. Round two CZs, one on Dumas and the other on Zendi. And they're going for some flashes and smokes. And I think in this kind of situation, they're probably just going to try and push towards the A side. I really, uh, again, I really hope to see Na'Vi pushing more. We're going to see, yeah, actually, that's going to happen at least. Maybe getting someone to connect it. Oh, no, maybe not. No, it's oh, actually... No, gonna see. Okay, we'll go for... for uh, they're, they're, they're going straight in towards yeah. short here, the terrorists. They're inter interesting. They're trying to push off really fast. It's not the best idea. It's really easy to, def really easy to defend Starix. doing a crap load of damage on the terrorists here. Edward's finally finishing off Zendi. And, uh, I think he was a bit too greedy there and gave away the Mag-7 to Berg. He finished off by Starix before doing any more damage. Now we make it 4-3 to three now. Flipside unable to plant the bomb that round. They will have that loser bonus. They'll get a bit of money. Now full rifles on their side. Twist playing with the Galil, however. Doesn't have enough money to get an AK. This is a very scary uh, map for, for Na'Vi to actually find themselves on. You, you, you definitely need that good CT, uh, good CT half. And yeah. uh, once again, the uh, push coming in from Na'Vi. Yep, they've got, got to keep seeing a, you know, more aggressive plays. They're taking uh, a line there. Very, very, very aggressive in the A site. We've not seen this playing off. It's a really good call because the terrorists are pushing towards the A site. Exchanger frag Zeus. Eh, a bit too aggressive there. He dies, but he gets one frag, but he dies. That's the thing. And it's not really benefiting for the CTs to make a one-for-one one trade it, in any part in any part of the of the it's, round. Um, it, I, have, I feel like Overpass is one of the maps for CTs where it's not nearly as bad because they can have such quick rotations from A and B that they don't have to split that's on true. the sides very so true. much. And that's that's, very that's true. the the major reason why yep. it gives TZ advantage. So this is one this that's one of the reasons as well why the aggressive play um, just one of the the small benefits the aggressive play has for CTs on this map, and which is one of the reasons again which. I I'm being conflicted by this map, but I really like it for that reason. It's it's very different type of type of play on this map. Yeah. We we can see a lot more dynamic and, and aggressive CT style play, and uh, they can take a lot more risks. So, uh, twist going in, leading the, the charge. There's a Molotov on towards the site, and that's kind of going to force one of the Navi players not to be able to be in a good position to stop that short push. Twist pushing right through the smoke to get one frag, gets the second take. Now both Edward and Styrix. Now it's a two on three situation. Bomb will be planted in at the B site. Guardian and seized, vying for control of the B site, going for the retake. Seized doesn't have a lot of HP, really aggressive play here by Guardian, who's not had a chance to play with the AWP yet. The bomb has been planted. Oh, he catches Dumas, and that's a really important frag here by Guardian. Now it's a one on two. Berg is in a really, really tough situation. He's able to make it a 1v1, but Guardian already takes him down to 19 HP. Guardian now has two flashes. Berg's backing away towards Tunnel. Oh, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna run all the way around? Maybe uh, he's just going to try and keep Guardian guessing, but Guardian's the kind of player who will easily go for the defuse. He doesn't mind that. Oh, he, oh, he has actually season. heard him. I, don't, he, I mean, I don't know what Berg was thinking, but he did an excellent job of holding him off enough so yeah. that he couldn't get defused, and I didn't notice that. It was really smart there by by uh, by Berg. But yep. I, think, well I think Guardian should have just gone for the defuse then. Because it's even uh, if he got on the frag, he wouldn't have won the round. It's, it's a really hard Weird. spot to deal with. And 4-4 uh, to four now the score, and we're starting to see Na'Vi with this aggressive play. It is actually paying off. They're, they're having better rounds overall. Indeed. And Indeed. the other thing that it does is you force, you force the T's to actually use aggressive, uh, use grenades aggressively, and uh, it, it lowers their resources for when they actually do take the site. So they have oh. to take these positions away from you, and Guardian can do stuff like wow. that as well. So you there you go. You, you, just, you don't normally see a player doing that, just jumping forward with an AWP ever so... Uh, nonchalantly and, and, and getting a, a headshot with the AWP. You can barely see the top of his head as well. You really have to have pinpoint accuracy with the AWP to do that. Seized, at the moment, only has a P250. Is, has an afford, can't afford a gun, but he's in a really good position to use that P250. Sees the shadow of the terrorist players, and he'll get an easy frag and pick up an AK-47 as Dumas goes down. This is a really good start here for the CT side. Terrorist, though, returning two kills ever so quickly, taking down both Edward and Seize as now they push towards the B side. Benji throwing in those flashes and short as he has support coming in from a long A. Long B, sorry. Twist with an entry frag in the site. 
It's two on two. Guardian with the op. Starix with a very, very crucial kill taking down the bomb. So that should be the round here for Na'Vi. He gets the second frag. Great job there by Starix. And Guardian was in support anyway, just in case he wasn't able to make that final kill. Na'Vi now one round ahead. Five to four as Flipside Tactics on this really CT sided map are not doing a bad job with four rounds so far. And the uh, spot from the C's there with the PT50, I heard that Fifth Lauren say that that's actually Forrest's favorite spot when he's got like a pistol in a situation like that. That's Forrest will always be there. Well, not necessarily always, but that's like his favorite spot. And uh, you can see how powerful it was. I mean, it's quite a hard angle to actually prepare for. So, uh, nice, nice, uh, nice job there. Navi coming out with uh, two players to the, uh, surviving at the end of that round. And, Bringing things back slowly but surely, but they got to stop the rot right now. With <laughs> that Nova, building that money, building that bank, gonna be uh, buying those Rolexes Ching. next round. Well, that's uh, shotgun money. He, he's gonna buy his Royals. Ro uh, what did he say? A Rolex. Oh, it's Rolex. <laughs> Damn. Does the Rolex help your aim? I don't know, but it sure looks oh, it gives fine. You yeah, it makes you see the time really, really well, so you'll yeah. never like flop with the bomb defuse. Yeah, man. If if someone needs a watch, it's Navi. <laughs> it's true. It, they it's do need. Someone needs to I think they don't really the need a Rolex. They don't really need like a cool looking watch. They just need a Something watch that functional. works really well, like a digital clock that gives right. them, you know, warning sounds when the bomb when, when the bomb needs defusing that or when the, when the round's about to end. And there is that uh, that smoke that's very very common from spawn that does smoke off great the flash. Uh, great flash. Oh, the oh. tunnel is just now a graveyard. Guardian gets two as well. Long B. Oh my god! Wait. Right in the face. Beard first. That push. Beard first. <laughs> through the he went smoke. in beard first, mate. <laughs> That's how he gets rid of the smoke. He just waves his beard around. And gets rid of all the smoke instantly. Something only Edward can do. Yeah. Glorious ginger beard of his. You think he gives him extra armor that beard? Just defends him from, from some headshots. That'd be pretty interesting. So uh, we're starting to see Na'Vi really coming into their own with these, these pushes along the map. Now that they've got the money to in uh, utility to, to pull it off, it's working out very well. Guardian now switching things up. So they're going uh, towards the park route. He's got himself on short oh, yeah. here. This is a really tough angle to hold with an off. It's really, really tough. I mean, if Guardian is Guardian. He can do it, but there's no need to take those kind of risks. It'll definitely put Flipside off balance. They would not expect Guardian yeah. to be there, but that's 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 the reason. But uh, if he's got some mates to help him out, maybe with the oh, priest. beautiful right through the wall. Yes, he lands the shot on Berg. It feels almost like he's kind of alone here on the bomb side. That can't be the case, but it he's jumping like all over that. the place. He makes it seem like there's five men yeah. in the bomb side. He's in <laughs> shot, gets that wall bank, pops down to lower. Oh, oh yes, no, maybe he misses a shot. Almost, <laughs> almost. Almost, I wanted it to happen. I was willing it to. He's wall banging with an orb. Beautiful. Guardian is so active right now on this side with this orb. All over the place before finally going back towards A. And so his teammates are replacing him. Actually, Chris is on 35 HP. I think he's going to hit through the wall. That made Edward getting two frags because of the softened up players that Guardian shot through the wall earlier on in the round. Benji there with a the double to push into the side. And there will be a bomb plant. Starring with the Molotov right where the bomb's planted. They don't have a lot of HP, and it's Dumas versus both Guardian and Starix. He has to play it really smart here. Oh, he gets wow. the frag on Guardian. Really nicely done by Dumas. It's one-on-one -on -one here. Just hide. You have the time working for you. Starix is going to throw the smoke. He'll go for the peak. Now he's behind the pillar. Starix can check to the left. He won't go through the smoke. Dumas, will he go through the smoke here? He hears him. He knows he goes for the, he, he's gone for the diffuse. <gasps> oh, my God. It's a, it's a game of musical chairs. Oh, Dumas! Really, really smart play by Dumas. How did he pull that one off? Star really he barely stuff. survives with the AWP as well. 1 HP with the AWP on Star Wars. That's That's a small consolation to a round that should surely have been won by Na'Vi. But, uh, he should Dumas have sprayed through the smoke if he thought he was in the smoke. was too cunning, too sly. Too smart. And in, unfortunately for Na'Vi, they're going to look at uh, five rounds now for flip side instead of uh, maybe what should have been an 8-4. Yeah, so it's, it's Pretty good for flip side now. Smoke. They've got money in the bank. We've got AKs on Khalil on Twist. But it's all about this man. Flashback. Here it is. Really aggressive. Can he get the pick? Flash. Flash He's gonna pull back. Throwing a grenade. Smoke. Smoke gets thrown down instead. So so far we're seeing a pretty nice setup here. Seeds in a very nice position over by Party. If they, don't, if, if, they don't, if they don't see him, he's going to do a lot, yeah. lot of damage. But he gets one frag on Zendi, so they know he's there. He's himself back, but Twist will return the favor and get the frag back.
He should have nice just spot. backed away after the fight. This is the thing that Navi don't do well on the CT side, is after they get a frag as a CT, they go for the second frag. They don't back away. Yeah. Not like Dignitas. You know, and, and if, if they do back away after the frags, they probably will be in better positions as Holy CTs, smoke. especially on overpass. But uh, sometimes, I, I mean, greed works out sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I usually would agree with you, but in that spot, I actually felt like he had a really nice chance to make, to, to make, make that so frag. Yeah. And because and he was so deep, I mean, he was in a position where he can commit himself to make a couple frags. And it's just, and now that they're sat four on the site, um, Twist is really low. Obviously, that risk didn't pay Break off for Seized. But Navi is still fine. They're still fine. They, they got their, their four men spread across the two sites, and they're so close together. In comes the push, and Guardian is always reliable. Oh, Guardian just fall from here. Twist will end quite a few shots on Guardian, however, they finally finished him off as uh, they go for that bomb down to the smoke. Berg has to be careful, there's a CT still in the tunnels. He'll make that frag. Nade comes down towards the site to finally finish off the situation. Berg landing the shots. Flipside are not playing bad at all here. They might be able to get another round. It's a two on one with Zeus remaining. He has the M4. He has to go really fast because he doesn't have a lot of time for the defuse. Tries to go right through the smoke. Gets the first shot, but the other terrorist is hiding behind the sh hiding behind shot here. He will make the frag regardless. Dumas and Berg playing out of their minds this match 10 frags on berg 10 frags on twist and uh, that's six rounds that flip side i wouldn't expect them to get i really wouldn't well i mean it's it's basically just coming down to the fact that i mean navi are taking some calculated risks there. i mean we saw that the margin there was so small and that little engagement was seized kind of put navi in a spot where they could have been a little bit more ahead than they were going to. So smallest of margins deciding things here. And in comes the push. It is fast and heavy. In oh, flip side. Beautiful entry frags there by Berg. Great, great entry frag from the Swede. I'll get the bomb planted once again. The B site has been their go-to tactic. Flip side. And uh, I think next round, Na'Vi are not going to have a lot of money to play with. For sure, Guardian won't have the op if he isn't able to save it this round. And I think Flipside are already hunting for the guns. They're not even defending the site here. They know the round is theirs. They've made it 7-7. Seven to seven. That's such a... Sc if Flipside go I, I wouldn't through believe. over Na'Vi, I would I'm, I'm going to get on my knees and pray to Gaben because I, I don't believe in anything else anymore. What, what are you going to pray to Gaben? What are you going to tell him? I don't know, man. Gaben. I don't know. You've got to be careful with this stuff. Because Gaben's... Gaben, I don't know. I think he's a, he's he's, a, he's, he's a vengeful he's, god. He is very dangerous. You don't want to mess with him. Or you'll get back authentication error every day of your life, <laughs> like Pasha did <laughs> today. Or every time you cast a game, it'll be delayed for two hours. You don't want, you don't want that to happen. The wrath of Gaben. Either way, uh, it is a scary reality for Na'Vi. I mean, definitely you'd expect much more rounds than the CT half. Uh, CT side, but we'll have to see if they're able to recover. We have another round for them to take it. Potentially, flip side going in. Once again, Berg, oh, Berg. his oh, entries have been sickeningly like, spot on every time. Go with a quick double frag in return as they push in towards the B site here. Flip side, cut between two pieces. The bomb will be planted by Berg. And that save the round before was really, really important for the CT side because it's allowed Guardian to play with that off and it's allowed some of the players to have rifles. Benji will take down Zeus, however, Edward will return the favor. Now it's a one on two, Berg, the remaining player. He'll be shot down by Guardian. Navi at least will come up into the second half with eight rounds. One more round than flip side, but either way, seven rounds is just a few too many, I think, to give flip side. It is a lot, but again, piss around. Let's, let's see what they got uh, in store. Obviously, you know, if they win the piss around, now we're talking. Um, it's it's very doable if if that's if that's a loss for them, it's it's a much obviously a much different situation. It's it's one of those things where a lot of people are like you know why you know just why are you talking about piss around saying it's important. Obviously it's important. Well, it's it it is it's just really important. I Sometimes mean, <laughs> it affects the game a lot more. It really does. It affects the game a lot more in some matchups than it does in others. And yeah. in this kind of situation, especially when you're down uh, after you played you played the stronger side and you've not got that many rounds, you do need the pistol round. It's really important. The, the thing that, is, that I need, that, well, that everybody wants to know is what, how is, is Na'Vi going to approach this? Because they're going to be on the T, T side. And I, I, I mean, I think that the T side pistol is really, is really 
really nice on this map because you can hit a site so fast and for example just push just rushing b just something as simple as that is very can be very foolproof sometimes oh and yeah. the thing is as well with pistols in this in this game is that it, it can just be very very crazy and chaotic and headshots are flying left and right i mean you just never know like sometimes the cts get completely crushed because they miss that those first two key entry headshots and, and but sometimes it's the complete opposite like oh you yeah. just never know it's mm. So hopefully um, Navi don't leave it up to chance for their sake and for their sake that, that they have something of a rehearsed plan for this because, again, so as it is so have important... Have they practiced this map? This is the question. Yeah, oh, have yeah, I think, I think Navi have, have, have uh, practiced this map, definitely. Very precarious situation for the Ukrainians to be in. Navi have eight rounds on the CT side. They might be ahead mathematically, but... Counter-Strike wise, only eight rounds on overpass. Because <laughs> Counter-Strike doesn't adhere to mathematics. Of course it doesn't. It's, it's, it transcends It transcends, it transcends space and time. It's something more pure, more greater than mathematics, than it's logic, than physics. It goes past that. It's beyond that. It's greater it's than that. It's, is it, it's not greater praise than skins, skins. Praise though. Lord Gavin. No, skin, Skins is like... Skins is king. <laughs> skins is like... You, you can't describe Skins. You know, it, it, it's, it's beyond they this have, They have a hold. A very real Whoever thought of grip. skins is just the biggest genius the world has ever seen. Yeah. Throw Einstein in one in one part, throw <laughs> Newton in the other. It's the man it's the man who thought of skins. And if it was Gaben, well Gaben. Well he's already a genius, but he's a super oh, genius now. That's a beautiful Ooh, nade. What a shade nade. didn't connect, but that was a beautiful nade uh, attempt from Twist. There. He pushes through short as well, even though they threw down that smoke. It's really ballsy play all through the wall. He backs away. Smart thing to do. No point being caught off with a smoke between you and your teammates. So even if 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 you lose and you get killed, you won't be able to get that return frag. You won't be able to make that trade. So here it is. He's actually picking up the bomb there, ferrying it over towards uh, Long or they will be Monster going towards or the, B site, yeah. the tunnel, whatever it is called in your area of the world. And <laughs> it has many calls, man. There's so many different calls <laughs> for that thing. In your area. Why do you, do you think... Hey, there, I mean, I mean if, if you speak English... Europe. All right, fair enough. I mean, it's, it's different everywhere. Either way... Uh, we're going to see the entry from Benji, or rather the, the defensive frag coming in from Benji. That's going to make Navi's life hard. They're, they're getting thinned out before they can even get through. They, they've got to be careful. They've got to rethink this. Smoke coming in. I wonder what smoke that is. Oh, oh, smoke what? Barrels there. Oh, it's it's a smoke to smoke off shot from from the A side here. Twist. Ooh, very nice. Absolute <laughs> destruction by flip side. They try to push through from long B, and it just did not work out for them. Flip side get the pistol round. Flip side now on the stronger CT side have the weapons. They have the advantage. They should be able to string two rounds after this, especially if they stop the bomb being planted. And this is a really, really, pretty much worst case scenario start for Navi this half. Yeah, I mean picking the right moves on the pistol is very difficult, and hanging around too oh. long. Oh no! It wasn't that much damage. Damage, but Ouch. down to 78 now, Berg. And there's a little boost. Um, let's see which player there on Benji looking over towards Suez. Oh, it's a really good boost. But he has to be careful. If they go through doors, they might be able to see him actually. They will be able to see him if they open the door. But he'll hear the door yeah. being open and he'll turn squeaky. straight away. Squeaky door. <laughs> so he will be fine. These boosts are great. I love seeing these kind of boosts. Smoke. Navi getting ready to push through from short. They've got. A few smokes and flashes. A lot of smokes, actually. A lot of smokes. They're gonna completely smoke off the B site. I think right now the aim of this round is to get the bomb planted. Fire in the hole. It's interesting. Instead of going for CZs, they've gone for Lay smokes. Smoke. They've got two CTs here on the A Lay site. It's not too smoke. problematic because well, they can just rotate in a matter of seconds, really, and, and, and support their teammates in the B site. Forty seconds left on the clock. Maybe they're waiting for that smoke to dissipate before they do that B site execute, but they've definitely got a plan. Yeah, they got two flashes and a smoke to work with, and as you said, you know, the smokes are gone, and in they go. Oh, Seize misses that entry frag, but they'll probably get it anyway. As uh, Zendi goes down, this is a really good start here. Zeus will get a frag on twist, very nice B execute. The B site is really the weak point for the CTs in this map. In this map, sorry. And then you kind of land those shots, it's three on four, two maps comes in to support. The bomb's already been planted. The terrorists are playing it smart. They're still staying alive. They're stopping the CTs from going for that defuse. I mean, they do have a kit. Oh, this is really big here by Guardian. Edward gets the kill as well. Guardian with a double. They shut down that retake. And beautiful play by Navi in this eco round. Absolutely sub very, very substantial round, round win. You do not expect Navi 
on an eco round. Well, I mean, it's a false buy, but on the second round to, to, to win on the T side of this map, especially after losing the pistol round. And uh, flip side lost that advantage they had. They could have built up more rounds from it, could have built up some momentum. Um, but Navi still in the game with that win. And, and a great B execute as well. But I wonder how it'll be when they get AK 47s as well. I mean, with AKs, it must be even more brutal. Oh, oh here we go. They're going to go in straight again. It's not messing around at all. Gonna slowly get themselves in through onto that B boss. Like, look at this, they're staring down so many players. The smoke they can't help the shots. a little bit, but still a lot of work to be done. They do make the frag. Benji takes on Zeus before going down. Starix will get a frag, and so will Guardian. Not a lot of HP on Guardian and Edward Berg. If he places his shots right, can probably steal one or two kills from Navi before going down here. Uh, that shot, he gets one frag on Guardian, but Seas will finish him off 10 to 8. Navi, two rounds ahead of Flipside, and Flipside now will be able to go for a full buy this round. Yeah, the pistol, I mean, uh, actually, no, they're going to go for an eco again, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's I, uh, take that, that back. round after the pistol win. I mean, we saw like the full famuses from Flipside. One of the reasons why we see so many pistol buys in this game, as opposed to like a game like 1.6 or whatever, it's obviously because the PD50s, even just the PD50s are so good against the famas. If if you're really fast on a on a on a rush on an entry, that guy is going to have a really hard time with a famas against those pistols rushing you. So it can be very effective. Navi using that to its maximum potential. And uh, you know, into this round, we see the flip side now on the pistols themselves. But it's uh, much more difficult because they can't really dictate the round with their pistols. They have to react. So it's always going to be a bit more difficult to deal with. Yeah. And uh, Navi are taking their time, moving up uh, A-long. As uh, flip side do go for a little bit of a reposition. More players towards the A site now too. Over by Optimus, as James calls it, because he thinks the truck looks like Optimus Prime. But <laughs> I think only, I think only he would agree with that. I don't think anyone else in this universe calls it Optimus except James. Yeah, indeed. Well, let's let's make it let's make it viral. Let's make people call it Optimus. Smoke. That's our next objective. Smoke goes down there by Edward and a flash by that, but the bomb is actually rotating towards the B site here. It is just to get the uh, the uh, attention of the CTs. It just doesn't work, though, the fake. It really just does not work. Dumas is in connector and in a very good position. on Edward. He makes it. Picks up a free AK-47. Easy peasy. Staric takes down Benji, however. Returns the frag. He knows that Dumas is here. He just got a frag. He's taken down. Zeus is ready for that. He had that information. And it's a B-site push coming in from Na'Vi. They are able to plant the bomb. Retake coming in from the CT. As they try to push in towards the B-site. Going to their absolute deaths. And Guardian, Zeus, he get a frag, seized as well, takes down Berg, Na'Vi looking a lot more solid now, a lot more composed, and a lot more dangerous. Certainly so. Well, off the back of that uh, that PT-50 uh, that series of kills from Guardian that was so phenomenal, had to save the round there. And uh, we are going to see, though, Flipside Tactics in with the proper bite. Twist with the AWP. Guardian we saw was instrumental despite uh, the lackluster amount of rounds that came out of the performance from Na'Vi, but we saw how much can be done with an AWP. Chris is going to take this straight onto the walls, a long angle hit. No one to be spotted just yet. And it, it, they did actually Molotov onto the barrel position, so that's an interesting, just 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 throwing it, for, you know, with no push coming or anything like that. Very interesting. I mean, they just want to shake, shake the CTs around, keep them on their toes, keep them moving around, not able to kind of hold their angles properly and confidently. And uh, it didn't really do much, to be honest. Twist is in a really good position. I see, I see the shake, but where's the bake? That's the question. <laughs> where is it, it going to come to bake, a head? Shake and bake. The thing is here is that they are aware of the fact they've got guns, hence why they've not peaked at tunnels. Um, and, and instead they've gone towards a site, uh, going nice and slowly, checking every single possible corner. Guardian's peeking from somewhere into a site. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a boost in upper parkway. And he doesn't see anyone. He'll throw that nade towards the green truck because there's always somebody in the green truck, always. And you can always Molotov it and nade it and kill that guy or move him out of that position. He has to be careful of that Molotov because it smokes all over the place and they can defuse that Molotov and the smoke's coming in from the terrorist side. It's a very fast B exec A execute coming in but Berg is going to stay alive. He's right in the Molotov. A still burning. He gets two frags while he's pretty much on fire. 
Zendi tries to frag them before they go in behind the truck. But this is a really nice smoke setup from the terrorists because they completely smoked off the CTs. But the retake should be real. It's four on three, and they're in pretty much the same position. It should be really easy picking for the CTs. Dumas gets a kill. Zendi with two. The fuse comes in for flip side. But Navi got the bomb plant and almost the round win as well. Had they been able to get a few more frags on the flip side. Tactic <laughs> side. <laughs> I mean, you look at that and you're like, wow, that's genius. They they, they had all those smokes. CTs can't see anything. They get the bomb down. Kind of stuck. But then it's like, and then the guys have got the bomb down, guys. And we're like, start, like you know, having a round of applause. And like, but but then it's like, but now what? We're like all stuck behind Optimus. What what can we do? Optimus is not going to come and save us. So it, it, it definitely committed them. With, and it, yeah, it's, it's a very awkward position to then be in. Definitely. But it, it was a very nice way to get into the site and get it the bomb down. So hopefully they, they move to that play uh, later on as well. Because there's a I think there's a lot of potential there. Just uh, need to be executed a little bit better. And uh, But Na'Vi looking scary so far, but still with the AWP on twist. Huge frags from Bergdorf. Those two frags while he was in the Molotov were very, very important. Able to keep the cool and not jump out of the Molotov without making those frags. Yeah, that was really that, nice. that was really smart by Berg. Very, very smart. They go towards the A site once more. Flashbang. Trying their luck this time around. Down, Edward throws a flashing towards the site. Berg is in a different position now. He's not at the truck. Might be able to waste one of their nades. Maybe a Molotov Cannot from the T side. They've smoke. got two Molotovs. Boosted yeah. Guardians boosted. He can see into the site, but the smokes will uh, take away his vision. And Berg has forced himself back into that poor situation of being behind the truck. Like he can't Incendiary. easily be Molotov there. By the a, B ex a execute, sorry, is being prepared. We've got a few Molotovs, two Molotovs to, to use. A few splashes as well and smokes. Getting the crossfire set up, seeing if they can get a frag before they push in. It's five on five. 30 seconds left in the clock. The CTs are fully and utterly aware of this AX2. And the smoke go down. They're going to push through Berg. He gets Molotov. He pulls back just slightly. Throws down a Molotov in return. And really, really great counter flashes from the CTs that kind of stop this in the moment. There's an absolute inferno here in the A site. They try to push through. Berg's in a great position. Get a double frag. Three frags here for Berg. Beautiful play. Can he make it four? He gets shot down by Edward and Guardian. He gets a frag as well. It's two on three. They are able, perhaps, to plant the bomb in really in like the, the final moments, but he will be finished off by Zendi regardless who gets the double. And the defuse comes in from the flip side players. A bomb plant again by Na'Vi, but the round will go for flip side. They'll make it 11 to 10. Oh, that and free kill, man. That The last bullet from Berg connected into someone's head. Yep. That was so decisive, that one bullet. Just that was the, that was, that was just crazy. I can't believe he got three players there all lining up. I think they didn't expect that because I think they were a little bit short with the Molotovs. And, yeah, yeah. and so he was just like, he was people realize that he's right. They're not going to expect this. They think that I'm gone from the spot, but no. So a little bit off with the placement, and that's all it takes to give us a, a decisive advantage um, to the way of flip side on the retake. Rest again with that aggressive push and lower. He hasn't got lucky yet with anybody yeah, going pushed, there. Yeah, they've not pushed there while he's been peeking, but I think they might do this time around. They know that he's there with the off. That's why they're not really allowing him to make that shot. But C will go down. The twist off. Nice little boost on top of the sandbags here. So the comes down from the CTs. Really a nice CT play by Flipside, who play a bit more of a passive CT side. They get that frag back away. No need to keep pushing. No need to keep going aggressive. Berg with that sandbag boost to get a frag. He pulls back as well after making that frag. Now it's three on five. They've got the they've got the the, the advantage by far. And they can oh, beautiful by Zeus. Gets the shot just as the smoke lands and puts it back to a three on three. Now it's very much more manageable now for, for, for Nartus Vincit. They can uh, make something out of this. The bomb's still near the B site. And I think he's just trying to get away without being shot by Twist. And uh, he'll be rotating towards the A site. There's not a lot of time on the clock. He has to be pretty fast about it. He has to make sure there's no CT at connector either. Will be an A execute from Navi once more, but this time round it's three on three, not five on five. Smoke. And there's only a Molotov on Berg. Gonna completely smoke off Berg. You won't be able to see as they push in towards the site. They only have to check Spiral Staircase. And oh, how did Edward get shot? Somebody shot him. Berg comes up from behind. Twist gets a frag on Zeus. How did Berg make it there? Where did he come from? Navi. Just from Connector? Yeah, and Navi are in a lot of trouble now, which is getting bad. They didn't even get the bomb down that round, only two frags. Flipside are all over them and they're, they're feeling confident and they're going to get an eco out of the, Or are they? Are they going to force it up? Guardian just bought an AK. 
He can't afford armor either. He needs 50 more dollars. And we're back. Navi versus Flipside. All the players are back here. I like One. it. It's a short break. That, it's, that's, that's good. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a breather for us. But uh, you were mentioning earlier, it's interesting that they bought an AK. Uh, that Starix or Guardian, I think Guardian bought, bought it, yeah. yeah. Guardian bought the AK. Yeah, Zeus has got a Jaleel on him. So they just need a few weapons for the firepower. Oh, they didn't make that shot. Actually, they don't. They tried to go for that cheeky shot that Twist did in the first half, and it didn't work out for them. Zendi instead taking out Edward, who was boosted uh, on top of the other players. So they've already gotten the, the, uh, the advantage. Twist dropping the bomb, throwing a smoke as well, but the bomb is picked up by the T's regardless. It looks like Flipside should be able to make this their 12th round here, as uh, they don't have a lot of firepower in Arby. Zeus trying to one-man uh, one man army into towards the A site here. Guardian still has the bomb. Twist rotates back up just in case Guardian's there to stop them planting the bomb, because when, when the game is this close, every single mistake will matter. And letting Na'Vi plant the bomb, that could be the difference between going through to the round of eight and uh, being kicked out from the tournament. It's, it's surreal. It is surreal to believe that Flash Flipside back. have the same score as Na'Vi on overpass and now they're on the CT side. It's actually surreal to believe. Yeah, they've come a long way. Not a lot of good performances. Na'Vi, they know the pressure on them right now. This, is, uh, th th this just cannot happen. This cannot happen to Na'Vi. Just, there is just no way. In, in no reality, you should, because this will be something for them that they cannot accept as having happened. It's it's like, because it, it would just be such a shock to their reality that they could not make it through groups here. It would, because it would be, uh, yeah. over, over, you know, flip side in my XMG, that, that, that's a really they huge a, deal for them. That's gonna, group as well. It's gonna be incredibly painful if that actually happens for Na'Vi and I will feel gutted for them because they work hard for this. Guardian this time around trying to uh, win that 1v1 with Twist and uh, attempting to Getting the better of him here in Long Beat. A monster, people like to call it. Smoke goes down. That uh, takes away the vision for Guardian. He's forced to move into another position. Terrorists are trying to see if they can get a pick on two. He's able through the smoke to get a flag on Benji. For some reason, tried to push shot. Kind of just stayed back. CT's going for that boost as well to get the information, see who's running around squeaky and short. Edward playing around with a seesaw and uh, just, just having a bit of fun in the playground while, while his team gets off And now they're getting ready for a B execute. They do have a few flashes and smokes to play with. One Molotov on Edward. Smoke is renewed at Monster. They have to wait for that to dissipate before they can do anything here. They have to be ready. 30 seconds left on the clock. It's probably around the 25 second or 20 second uh, timer where they will probably push through. Out. 25 seconds, and they're going to push through. Starix now here on shot, the Molotov goes down, Zenny gets a frag on Edward, sees, takes down Zenny in return, it's a 4 on 2 situation, Zeus will get the other entry frag on Dumas as they pushes towards A side, the bomb will be planted towards the B side, Guardian taking down Berg, Twist with the AWP, he's the only player, he gets a second kill, Twist is still alive, 9 seconds left on the clock, Zeus will get the frag, and that was a huge bit of movement from Zeus going in from A side, getting that frag, and taking down Twist before the end of that round, because they could not get the bomb planted, bomb, bomb planted in time. 12 to 12, Navi winning that very, very important round, keeping themselves in the game, the economy is pretty good here, they both have weapons, and this round is a very, very important one. The loser of this round is forced on Tunico, and so the other team will be on 14 rounds. They'll be only two rounds away from actually ending this best of one. And it's really interesting that best of ones are having such... They, they decide the fate. The, it's such an important fate going through the round. Yeah, it's, there's so much on the line. So much on the line. Beautiful by Doomaster to push through, even though he got flashed uh, by the terrorists. It's a, it's a good format though that we have for groups here. I mean, it means that there's never a meaningless match. Every match counts very important. Hugely. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's how things go. How, it's how it rolls. It's uh, li uh, live, by the, live by the sword, die by the sword for, for mm -hmm. Na'Vi and Flipside here. Hard life, hard skins. The nature of the beast. And we're going to have to see now if they're able to do something with Guardian. Now, he has been instrumental. He's, he's honestly been putting on some staff performances so far RV in this uh, this match on overpass against mm -hmm. Flipside but uh, we've also as you pointed out we're not seeing a huge amount of pushes or aggression from Flipside they've opted to play very defensively twist I think nice tiny Starix there uh, a little bit oh, so ooh, he almost landed the second shot if he had he probably would have gotten the frag on Starix he still survives Flashback. 
And, uh, getting ready for a B execute once more. And the B execute, it really is the soft spot uh, in this in, in, in this map. Twist jumping up and down. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's trying to see. He's pushing in from short. From Monster by now, he's able to see him. He's going down, flashes into the right, throws the Molotov in in the corner. Actually, it's deep, but it's going to be diffused by Light Smoke. Zendi with two frags, Guardian one. Oh, what a shot by Guardian to take down Zendi. It's three on three. It's all on the line here. Navi against Flipside. They have to try and hold the bomb. They have to make it explode or finish off the remaining CTs. But the clock is against them. Benji will get shot down. Zeus will get a frag on both Benji and Berg. That's really big. Dumas returns it with a double. Guardian is on his own. There's not a lot of time left. He has to go for the defuse. Guardian is probably aware of that. Dumas checks. Monster. He doesn't know where he is and he's deciding just to save that M4. They don't have money and he's oh. going to get the frag as well. Beautiful there by Guardian. No Na'Vi prisoners. will win that round and now it seems perhaps a bit more likely that they might go on to the round of eight because Flipside now are forced onto an eco. No gun saved. Navi will probably make it 14 rounds to flip sides 12, and then the pressure is going to really, really pile on. Flip yeah, and, and there's not, there's not going to be an AWP for, for flip side go, go, after go. they lose this, I don't think so. Unless they, unless they somehow manage to pick one up and save it, I mean, it's, they're not going to be able to AWP. Yeah. I would really like to see the aggressive style come into play for them because it's going to be unexpected. And it is, it is effective, but then again, if they're not confident with playing that those strategies, then, then they should really stick to what they know. He's going to be shot down by Zendi. That's an AK-47 for the flip side team, but two frags already. Dumas is on his own. And it's an easy anti-eco by Na'Vi. I'll make it 14 to 12 here. They just have to keep control. There's no more players. There's no more guns. And the last game, 14 to 12. Flip side now. They'll be able to go for a full buy. They will have an assortment of rifles. No op on twist, though. Just M4s and armor. And uh, an assortment of maze as well. And this is it. Flipside have to win this round. And they'll be playing the final round with pretty much nothing. It is everything on the line right now. Round of eight. Automatic qualification to the next major. And the ability to continue in this tournament. And definitely it will be very impressive if Flipside can pull this back. But Navi. Guardian going to go straight in with the orb. You wouldn't expect this. Oh, he misses, he misses the flick. Oh, but he doesn't give up anything for it, except the opportunity to get a frag. And at least he keeps himself alive. Uh, a lot of Molotovs on the side of Navi as well. He's starting to run out of grenades for flip side. So they can't keep Navi at the gate forever. Eventually, they are going to storm the front. And they have to be ready. Smoke Renew towards short here. Oh, we were checking. Really, really oh, nice that was great. Puts down Twist to 31 oh. HP. Lay Edward alone is actually pushing towards the A site. Perhaps just to put on a bit of pressure. He's exactly backing towards Connector anyway. And we'll just keep the CTs focused on the A site as well. So they can't really commit towards the B site, which is where they're going to be hitting soon. Oh, Twist! Boost it up. We'll get a frag on Guardian. <laughs> this is a really, really good start here. Throws down that flash just in case they put three shots, but it's a really sh slow push by the Na'Vi players. And Benji will take down Zeus. They already lost two players. It's five on three. Na'Vi might have thrown this round down the rubbish. Zendi will be able to finish it off. Takes down wow. Caesar and Edward. Na'Vi had to 13. They, they had that round. Like they, Na'Vi were looking really good going into the eventual like take of the site. But they waited so long because of some of the nades, and then they were just kind of just waiting because it's Navi. <laughs> and then, then that jungle boost. Oh, that was beautiful. That boost. It really, was really nice. Point. Very well timed, and that saved the round for them. And then it was just they one after the other. Shame. So, and it flips like, are they going to go for it? Are we going to see the aggression coming in, or are they just going to stick to what they know? It looks like uh, sticking to what they know is definitely going to be the order of this round. Yeah. Probably not going to pick up frag from that. He's probably see him and back away, land some shots if he can get the frag. Great. If not, he's, uh, he's already backed away anyway. And the, look at the look at the money for Navi. If they if Navi lose this round, they they might just be cooked. They might be they done. Have to get a frag from the next round, even if they lose this round, so they can uh, actually play smoke. the final round with with something. 
with something, it will still be very, very limited. They, they need the bomb down, re regardless of what happens here. That is a good point. The bomb must go down for them to have a chance should they lose this round. Smokes and incendiaries to their full effect here on the CT side. And uh, the terrorists are getting ready for a B execute. It's really been the most successful push for the It hasn't worked out whatsoever. I mean, they've gotten bomb plants because of it, but they've never went around. Smokes come down to the coast. This is the final hurrah by Navi. They have to win this round or else they're going to be Economically, Benji will get a fight, but he's done something from Guardian. Benji will get two. Benji takes down Starks and sees Guardian with a return. Benji goes down. It's a two on three situation here. The bomb will be planted by Guardian. So they do have money for the next two rounds. Will they be able to win this round as well? Molotov right in the sight. Guardian goes down to Doom Ass's M4. It's all up to Zeus now in a one on three situation. He was in a good position behind, but Berg is there to make the frag. 14 and Flipside are going to make it 14 to 14. We've got a go TV lag. Took a bit of, a bit of a while for the squad wow. to update. But this game has gone to the wire. It is really, really close indeed. And, and the economy look at that. of Navi is in a bit of trouble. I mean, they, they can go even for got the it down, bike. but oh my god, they've got nothing They're still. Go for the force buy. Galil's coming in to play CZ. It's it's so. Oh uh -oh. my god. Uh -oh. Now, now this is not looking from good their Navi. position, they. I think they should just hit an area just really hard and fast. I don't think they have a much of an option to just take it slow. This it's could be huge. This could be such an upset. This could be such an upset. I don't believe it. I don't believe this. I think they need. They just. I think they just Navi. need to pick a site and go because they can't mess around right now. They need. They need their grenades to be in full effect when they push a site because that's the only advantage they're going to have going in. They they don't have the weapons. Usually it can say okay, AK is you know, better than M force, but Galil's not quite. Not quite. They're doing exactly what they did the round before, just trying to get those picks, waiting for those smokes to dissipate, trying to lure as many nades from Flipside as possible before pushing into the site, and then they're going to do a B execute because the bomb's ready there. Seized has the bomb. The, the, the great thing about the way Flipside are playing is that if you're a T side that can't effectively oh, find set plays to deal with what they have to offer on the site, then you'll get you're kind of screwed in a lot of positions because you can see them just sitting on this both sides. And they're just like, well, come at, come at me. They're, they're yeah, not, they're not playing aggressive. They're not trying to like get picks. There's, there's not like weird rotations going on. They working. just have solid holds. But Twist was really punished for that push in lower tunnel over that monster because he's down to 12 HP because of Guardian. He's able to frag him right over towards the T spawn part of the map, and uh, it could have been really bad for Flipside had Twist died earlier on and lost that all. Molotov goes down. That's going to slow them for a few seconds longer. There's only 20 seconds left on the clock. That Rolex has to really work for them because they don't have time to get the bomb plant unless they push really fast. Now Zen is going to be ready to get the frag it looks like it'll be the round for flipside unless something huge comes from navi zendi with yet another frag this is beautiful here by flipside benji takes him down it's only up to edward here it should be the 15th round for flipside tactics and navi won't have enough money for the final round of this match this is incredible flipside could actually kick out navi from this tournament it'll be yet another upset but this one's probably a lot bigger than penta versus our by power there's yeah. no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do not expect Navi to lose against Flipside Tactics. What has gone wrong in this game? I mean, there are so many rounds where you can just sit down and analyze the mistakes, but overall, yeah. the strategy of Navi, what has been the problem? I think Only three CZs. I think Flipside are better than Penta, but at the same time, Navi is, in, on paper, is so much better than the current Iowa Power lineup, I think, at least. But Flipside, they've, they've, they've just got a bunch of really talented players. They do twisted. have a lot of skill. Woodberg's been amazing. Benji's been amazing. They're keeping it simple as well, which is what's good for this. Oh, what that happened looked there? <laughs> really so weird. It looked really slow. I think he's in smoke. I think, I think there's smoke. a smoke, right? Yeah, I think there must be a smoke there. That yeah, looks super weird. Because <laughs> the T didn't see him, he didn't fire any bullets whatsoever. <laughs> First frag here for Flipside. It's the beginning of the end for Na'Vi. It might be at the end of their major story this DreamHack winter. A lot of fans are going to be very, very shocked with this performance from Natus Vincere. They were kicked out by Virtus Pro, completely demolished on Uke, but they did not expect them to lose against Flipside in the lower bracket here. As this decider match looks like it might go towards Flipside. But Edward, keeping the hope real. He'll get a frag on Berg. It's four on four now. A execute coming in from the T's. Edward with the Galil. He's got a good position with that Galil. He might be able... Oh, he just switches to the nade just at the wrong moment. Could have caught off one of the CTs. It's a bit of go TV. Like Navi are now pushing into the towards the site. There's a Molotov down. And I think there's a smoke as well. Edward gets the frag on Zendi. It's now a four on three situation. The CTs have a... Molotov right deep behind the truck, so they, it'll be really tough for them to get the bomb planted, but they're planted on the top of the truck anyway. Starix takes down Dumas. There's so much lag on the Go TV right now. It's 2 on 4. Navi might be able to take this to overtime as they do get the bomb planted, and it's they do have the man advantage as well. So tense right now. This looks 
so so weird as well. It's Volvo. really it's surreal what's going on here. It's absolutely surreal. Chris is alone and now, and he's going to go down. That's the <laughs> it's game. The overtime. But what oh is my happening? God. What is happening with the Go TV? It's like it can't handle ruined. it. It can't handle the the drama. It cannot handle it. Look at the frags. All of the players performing. Three players on uh, over 20 frags for both teams. Seuss, Edward, Guardian, Ber Berg, Benji, and Zen. And Berg has been ph phenomenal. He has been really, really phenomenal for Flipside this match. 15 to 15. There's going to be a pause as there's a problem with Edward. <laughs> He's he went to the toilet. <laughs> I thought yeah. he had a PC problem. He has a toilet problem. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, wow. so, so a very small break there before we kick it off and uh, back into the match. And... <sighs> Yeah, so very interesting, interesting situation coming out here. So there's still hope of life for wow. Navi. A very close call potentially, or still a very devastating result potentially. I, I can't mean, believe they they stole that round with the weapons they had. I mean, Flipside could have ended it right there at that moment, and I think Flipside were just effect, uh, uh, expecting the B site push because every single round for the last four rounds, five rounds, Navi just went for the B push, B push, yeah, B push, going and, and they weren't ready for the A push. Yeah. Yeah, the, the A, th they actually had a few successful rounds on A. It was, I think B, Errol was much less su successful for yeah. them, which is qu quite interesting. They, they obviously had a lot of uh, great smokes um, for, for the, the A site as well. And it's something on the B site that seemed to be the problem was just, just hitting the shots, the entries. I mean, when we saw the reverse situation, I think it was like Benji, he's always the first guy. He's always entry fragging like a beast straight through the what tunnel beast, monster. Yeah, yeah. Him and Berg Always at least like one frag, often two frags on the entry, and yeah. and this was something that that Navi uh, were were unable to actually do when they were when they were getting into B quickly, make those entries. So, yeah. so generally, it's it's kind of a crazy crazy match because both teams play it so differently as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's really interesting to see how this is going to turn out uh, in the overtime. Just I'm just. Uh, I mean, Navi now have hope. It's like it's a reset. It's reset. So just imagine it. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat, my voice is, is, is leaving me now. But it, it, imagine as if they're playing a new map now. It's like they're playing a new map. It's all reset. Scores reset. Money's reset. They have a chance to come back clean. They, but they know how each other fresh. plays. That's the only difference, yeah. really. It's the only and difference. it's the same map. Yeah. Um, that's 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 always the dynamic of overtime. Is but the thing is, is I actually feel like Flipside are better off in that sense because Flipside just played their game and they kept it really simple and. Like for example, on on their defense on on the CT side, we didn't see the pushes. Uh, it, it reminds me sometimes, you know, you, you see this way of playing on Inferno, on Mirage, on Dust Two. Sometimes teams will just give up middle. Like having mid control is can often be have an element of risk to it on most maps because it's usually easier to be contested yep. by the T's. So you can what you can do instead is just say let's sit on the sites and then we'll just we'll just if if they come at us then we'll just deal with it if they you know we'll let we'll even uh, like have a situation where they don't waste loads of smokes to get into a a chance to take a site they'll have all the full setup that exactly, they want yeah. and we'll just we'll just hold it like like bosses basically yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's what they're doing flip side and it's been actually working, working and that really style well can work with some teams some teams do that very well i think is a team that can do that very well as well that i've seen in the past and and nip they're very good at that. Fnatic as well. Yeah, well, yeah. Fnatic kind of good at everything at the moment. So yeah, but they've, they've got the best CT side. Uh, Fnatic, there's yeah. no doubt about it. But I think it's just a Scandinavian style of play. It's a very strong CT side. It's a nice passive CT side as well. Not as aggressive as... Fnatic as have amazing decision making when it comes to uh, exactly who when needs to, to go where and yeah. when um, on their, on their play, setups. Yeah. They, o they always have very efficient setups. So it's really nice watching their CT sides because when you watch them, you're like, wait a second, how are they, how are they doing so well? And then, like and then I, I go back and the demo and I look at it and I'm like, what did they, how did they do this? And it's like, well, actually, it's just really simple. They just do it really, really, really well. Really well and really consistently. Yeah. That's it. Hundred percent execution. That's the that's the main difference. I mean, some of us might have the ideas, we might have the the knowledge, but we just don't have the execution, and that's the that's the difference. Fnatic have that a hundred percent execution. That makes them uh, uh, the best team in the world at the moment. Even though they they did lose against Hellraisers in their opening match in the group stages. Yeah, but that's uh, more of a more of a different testament, story. Testament to Hellraisers, perhaps. I need to watch that match tomorrow and find some time so I can actually see what happened and just, just check you out. You won't everything. have time. You'll be busy watching Hellraisers actually playing live in the uh, tournament. So maybe damage. after the tournament, yeah. I'll, I'll find. I'll find a gap. You'll somewhere. find a gap during. Uh, it looks like we are perhaps ready to go back into the game. I think. Or. Uh, yeah, but, but we'll right. we should be able to hop back in quite soon and uh, yeah. finally conclude. We need we need closure. We need to find out what yes, happens. I want to be teased no longer. No, I, I just want to know 
what's going to happen gonna go so through. I can move on with my life and then go to sleep. Will, right? Navi, be able <laughs> <laughs> Will Navi be able to come back from this uh, and get the win that they, they, they were really... No, I was I was gonna say born to get, but that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> that's a, a bit, bit grand, that's a bit grandiose. It's a bit yes, grand, but, a bit but I mean, dramatic the, there. The, 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 they they get the the map win that they that on paper uh, they that were, they that should on paper they should get that they that some would argue that they have earned that they deserve yeah, exactly as a side. But flip side as well, coming into this match as the underdogs have played absolutely. So MR3, we're already into, into the first round here. And uh, we see the, the UI bug with the guns. Oh well, still got a bit of that Go TV language. It's a bit of a shame. So yeah, it's uh, MR, MR6, uh, 10k. Let's have a look and see if they're able to pull this one off. Well, MR3, sorry. Mm. Max rounds. Navi will be able to get the first frag on Dumas. Trying to go for that cheeky push in lower part. They will be punished for that. Now the A site is completely under their control because they've gone for a B site uh, stack here. This is a really good start by Navi, who will be able to plant the bomb in the B in the A site. Navi, Edward, checking upper parkway. Guardian going back using that off long distance. And they've completely smoked off this part of the map. CTs are getting completely demolished. Starix chasing them down. Absolute massacre here by Starix. This is a great start for Navi. 16 to 15. He, ch he chased them down like dogs. That was amazing. Did you see that? They were completely yeah. flashed and just backing away. And he went straight for them. No mercy from Starix at all. So a good start there for Na'Vi. And uh, the minimap is back with us. It, it disappeared for that first <laughs> round. I was, coming back I was quite concerned. Quite concerned how he would fix that. But it's back. And again, Dumas on his own in the A site this time. There. Staying with that play, Berg did an excellent job at truck, and I think that they're probably better off having Berg at truck in the A site. And it always worked out for them having two guys, one in stairway, one in the truck, and then waiting and letting them hold until the retake attempt or the support came in from the guys on the B site. But instead, they've got Berg in stairway, Dumas near the truck, and it might be it might work out for them just as well as long as they've got Berg in the A site to support. It should be good. He has to be really, really careful, though, because he can be shot as soon as that smoke disappears. Guardian going for that peak. I think he does catch sight of Dumas, and he will make that frag. And as he gets the entry frag in towards the A site, Navi looking a lot more sharper, a lot sharper coming into this overtime. Starrett with a frag on Berg. A site's open completely. Only three remaining players on the flip side. It should be yet another round for Navi here. As the bomb goes down, a bit of a flop because it actually hit his teammates more than it hit the enemies there. Seize goes down to Swiss. Oh, and there's a comeback coming in. Benji gets one frag. He won't be able to get the second. Actually, Guardian taking him down. It could have been disastrous for Navi had he, had he got those two kills from the backstab. Great nade. Navi with yet... Guardian with yet another frag, and Twist takes down Edward. It's 2 on 1. Twist is on his own. He has to go for the bomb. Six. Guardian so fast. with a 4K. Beautiful so play fast. by Guardian. He is really on point now. The, the, I mean, the stress has gotten there. The pressure has really forced Navi to play completely you know, out of there, just on a different level to Flipside right now. They, 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 they've they, identified, I think, that A is a bit of a a bit of an easier take for them as well. Right now, yeah. I mean, we saw, uh, like you mentioned it, there's so many crazy takes coming in on, uh, or basically blown up take attempts on the B site. And A just seems generally more successful. They seem to have highlighted that at the right moment. Uh, couldn't have come any later. I mean, they've gotten two rounds already on the T side. This is not a good start for flip side. And they're forced to play the final round just with CZ to half. Worst case scenario now for Flipside. They were this far from ending Smoke. Navi, from removing them from DreamHack Winter 2014, from stop, from pretty much ending the story that is Navi in the last major of 2014. But Navi Smoke. with that phenomenal round, able to come back into the game, able to take this on to overtime and winning the first two rounds, probably the third here, due to the Huge difference in weaponry. It's like a new energy to Navi right now. Like new right. confidence. It's something happened. I don't know. Maybe it like a came back from the toilet with like a revelation. Just like <laughs> had some kind of crazy speech to his team, and the morale was boosted nine ninefold. Took some interesting uh, substances, perhaps. <laughs> Brought some for his teammates. Oh, we're only joking. There's none of that in Counter Strike, is there? Well, I mean, Navi looking really good. They, they have three players left trying to be sneaky, and 
Oh, there's one CT right behind them here. <laughs> oh, the timing! The timing, the timing was timing. just off by a few seconds. Had he waited for a moment longer, he might have been able to capitalize on that great little flank there. Dumas will be shot down there by Edward. Navi making short work of the remaining flip side players on this on this final round of this half. They should make it 18 to 15. Three rounds. Wow. They just need one round now. That is brutal. Navi. They. Wow, I, d I don't even have words for how much of a difference there was. That Complete was so decisive. Complete transformation. Like it was always meant to be. Complete transformation. Like Navi there was like, never a We're doubt. not going to play any games. We're not going to mess about anymore. We can't let Flipside go through. This cannot happen. They won that final round. They made it 15-15. to 15. They took it to overtime and completely demolished them on the first three rounds of the first half, even though they started off on the T side. Yeah, I mean, uh, right now, flip sides, they have to win three in a row to get another overtime. That's the, the reality that's difficult. That's that's very difficult. that they're facing. And that's just absurd. That's absurd. That's going to be so hard. I mean, okay, it's not impossible by any stretch of the imagination, but Na'Vi looking very confident. It's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. They have yeah. the ability. but I'm, I'm expecting to, to see actually to see much more focus on B from coming out of flip side. They had so much success there. The thing is, though, are Na'Vi going to keep to this aggressive aggressive play? I mean, the thing is, there were a lot of rounds where it looked good, but at the same time, they still conceded uh, a lot of rounds themselves. But the thing is, is that the dynamic when it's MR3 and overtime is just so weird because yeah. it's like, it's yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more random because you get so many rounds to play with. Not it's as much money. I mean, the thing is, right now, the overtime, it's been like a new map for Na'Vi. Uh, they've completely been revitalized. They've completely changed. And uh, they have just they look so much crisper and fresher. And flip side just look tired. They look slow. They're unable to land the shots. They're unable to hold the bomb site. A site's been completely open. And they've un been unable to defend it. And I think the mistake is that they went for the call for the first round by having a four-man stack in the B site, thinking that was a smart, uh, the smart kind of choice to make. And it really wasn't. It was far from making uh, the smart choice. They only had Dumas in the A site. He was shot down. It was an easy A bomb site plant. And uh, they were able to win the first map. And since then, first round, sorry. And since then, they've been absolutely unstoppable. Flipside have no room for error right now. If they lose this round, it will be the end of their story. And coming from a situation where they could have ended Nartis Vincere. They could have ended Na'Vi. The much stronger side on paper. So here we go. Uh, Guardi going to make his way straight towards A. No shenanigans uh, in park this time around, in this round at least. And you see Flipside... Yeah, looking for that B play at the moment, as uh, as expected. They did find so much success. Benji attacking looks like from short instead of the long area. And the setup from Navi does look quite good. Just up to the frags now. Who's going to be able to pick up those kills? Oh, Edward's ready. He gets the first frag. Edward gets the second. He'll finally be shot down there by Zendi. Starts in a pretty tough situation here. Molotov's not been thrown behind the barrels. They've made the exchange and they've come out the top, the CT side. They have one man advantage. Guardian, though, with barely enough health. D is coming up from behind. He gets the first frag on Dumas. Twist is on his own. It could be the end for Flipside. They qualified through the last minute qualifiers, but Navi will make an end 